Rob. So we have some, the, the, the vehicle still needs some wiring work done to it. Uh, that was left about 80% done. So in lieu of having it fully wired, we've kind of created some workarounds here so we can show it running. Okay, well what we're doing is just running it with the electrical system at total loss. Uh, it'll run on the battery till the battery goes dead. Uh, once it has the charging system properly hooked up, she'll be fine. This is the uh, Onan commercial engine that went in all the skid steers and John Deere's. Very reliable, very easy to deal with motor. Uh, right now I just have the coil and an electric fuel pump hooked up so we can run it. If you listen very carefully, you'll hear the electric fuel pump kick on. And then, right now I'm just, instead of using the solenoid, in lieu of that, we're just doing this. Okay, all of these Delco type, and this is a Delco Remy, alternators work the same way. Red wire's power, blue wire's ground, and that takes care of your, uh, your positive and negative cables. And then these oils, wires for the field and armature go to the regulator. So yes. it's all quite simple and nothing difficult about it. Now we had taken this one out and you had, we had looked at getting a hot rod alternator with a one wire. Yeah, I was going to get the Delco one wire, which would work nice. They're cheap. Uh, they're available through uh, the speed shop in Lincoln for under a hundred bucks. And they're chrome. You know, the vehicle having that chrome piece underneath the hood would make it much more desirable. <laughs> what uh, What's the benefits to going with the one wire? Why were we going to switch it? Simplicity, it eliminates the uh, voltage regulator. And, we... and then if you want two wires, you can hook up a second wire for a uh, voltage gauge. But it's just simplistic, they're rugged, and then the output, this is probably... Uh, 30 or a 40 amp and the one wires are like uh, 80 or 90 amps. We were looking to potentially run a radio and a... Bonus. We were going to run the radio, we were going to run the PA system for running the ice cream music, and we were going to run the bubble machine plus all the lighting. So we needed the extra amp. All right. And this would probably do all that, but it would tax it. When when you turned all of those things on, you'd hear the engine slow down. With the one wire, it wouldn't do it quite as bad. 